guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna to be a pretty quick video. I'm going to be replacing the tether on my new to me snowmobile, and I'm gonna be replacing it with this DuraPro magnetic tether. Let's open up the box and see what is included. As you can see, I got the purple tether, but to be honest, you barely even see the color. So you can go on their website and choose whatever color you want. There are lots of options, but I'll show you here in a second. You really don't see much of that color. We do have some instructions here. No pictures here. That's why I'm making this video to hopefully make this a little bit easier for your own install. This side is magnetic where the tether connects to, and then this is for your wiring connection to your snowmobile. This is an additional piece. This does not come included with this kit. You have to order this separately. It's only about $15, but if you have a 2018 or older 800 or 600 snowmobile, you'll need this little adapter. The reason I have this one is we're gonna be putting it on Stephanie's snowmobile, which is a 2014 Polaris 800 RMK Pro. We are? Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, know that. that's why I bought that for you. <laughs> Next piece is the actual tether, bright orange. That's the only color option. Um, does come here with a very small carabiner. I usually replace this with something a little bit larger just so it's easier to connect to either my backpack or to my monosuit um, while I'm wearing gloves. Last thing that comes in the box, they send you one zip tie because the electrical connection is way too long. Last thing is this, uh, might be kind of hard to see, but it's just two-sided tape that's gonna stick underneath the tether and make sure it doesn't spin. Let's head on over to the snowmobile and I'm gonna talk about why a tether is so important and also why this DuraPro magnetic tether is so much better than the one that comes stock on these snowmobiles. All snowmobiles do have a kill switch right here, so this will turn the snowmobile off, but it's really hard to reach. If you fall off the sled, you don't want the sled to continue running, and then the track spins and potentially either drives away from where you're at, or if you're trapped underneath the track, that can be really dangerous if that track is still spinning. So you have these tethers, so when you do fall off, the snowmobile automatically stops as soon as this is disconnected. Now this is the one that comes with Polaris snowmobiles. The shape of it makes it pretty easy when you do fall off for snow and ice to build up in there. As you can see right here in the middle of that tiny little dot right there, that's basically where the electrical connection is made. And it's a lot harder to be able to push it on there and it has to be very precise. So again, if you have that snow and ice build up in there, it's not gonna easily reconnect. That's why this aftermarket DuraPro tether is so much better. It's got a huge connection here. The whole thing is magnetic. Um, so even if snow and ice does build up inside of this, it's easy to remove. It basically connects itself. This install is gonna be on my, again, like I said, new to me, 22 Polaris Chaos Matrix Slash. The way the new matrix are designed make it incredibly easy to do this install on your own. So let's start by removing the old one. We're gonna pull the tether off. I'm gonna just untwist the fuel cap. Do not want this to be over tightened because it is. this is just plastic and it's really easy to strip it out. Untwist. Remove, we'll set that aside with our fuel cap. Take the key out. And now this just pops out over the top of that. Put the fuel cap back on, just to make sure we don't get any kind of debris inside there. And then this just pops out. And now we have all our wiring connections easy to access. To disconnect this, it is very simple. This one has a little plastic nut on the front. Remove that, set it aside. This pops out from the back. And then to remove this, just push down on this gray tab right there and it easily pulls apart. To start the install with the new tether, I'm going to start with this double-sided tape. Run it through. I'm gonna remove the back side here. And I'm just gonna tear. Oh, go, oh, don't do that. <laughs> this part is kind of annoying. Are you kidding me? So that just completely tore, and to be honest, I don't think I even installed it on my last one. So we're just gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Moving on. 
Take this electrical connection, run it through here. And now we need to drill out a bigger hole. <laughs> that doesn't fit. <laughs> and I knew that, I just forgot. I've got my step drill bit here and we're going to drill to one inch. Perfect fit. Next, we're gonna put on this threaded nut here. Make sure that you put the flat side on first. Go down. Because you want that flat part up against there. So thread it on. Next, take a pair of pliers or crescent wrench like this one and just try to tighten that nut down. And that'll be good. This is installed without that adhesive and it's not moving at all. As I mentioned before, they give you a really long connection here and we only need it to reach right here. So I'm just gonna zip tie some of this out of the way, make our connection, cut off the extra and that's it. Make sure when you're putting this all back inside your snowmobile, no wires are getting pinched and everything sits in there nicely. So let's take the fuel cap off, slide these two up and in. This pops up and over the top of the fuel. Then we take this plastic ring here, thread that all the way down to the bottom. Again, I don't like to over tighten that. Cap back on. Last thing to do is just make the connection with the new tether and make sure it starts. This is where you always keep your fingers crossed even though it was really easy. It works. So when we zoom in here, you can see, I mean, they do offer this, like I mentioned before, in a lot of different colors. So it's really pretty when it's disconnected, but you almost never see that. If you have any recommendations for where I can find this in a different color, please leave that in the comments below because I haven't been able to find it anywhere. And I'm not a huge fan of the color orange. <laughs> Starting with a small project like this tether, I think really gives you the confidence to try to work on bigger things like working on adjusting your track or working on your clutch, changing your belt, that kind of stuff. So be sure to like this video if it did help you out and subscribe to our channel because I'm going to be doing a bunch of other videos, not only of riding this winter, but also doing some projects working on my snowmobile, both here in the garage and out in the snow. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.